You've got to get off this ship. Valentine is still aboard. You're not safe. Valentine's here? Yes. And this whole ship is dangerous. Valentine's got it loaded with some kind of gas. Helium? Hydrogen? Mustard? Man, I could use a bagel dog. No, it's something he concocted himself. He calls it love gas. Inhale too much of it and who knows what you might do. Love gas? Be serious. I am serious. Anyone who breathes it becomes extremely emotional and susceptible to suggestion. Imagine what the Shakespeare of crime could do with that. If he has his way, everyone will fall in love with Mr. Valentine. Especially the Commodore. for this moment. I'm enjoying myself ever so Wonderful. much. Wonderful. Alright, let's try this again. This one? Let's try this. Try it here. This one. Perhaps this. This one. There we go. Marvelous. Hmm. Good thing it's long. A good thing is long. Hair on would be. Huh. piece of paper here we go good thing my hair is long short hair on a poet would be a crime good thing my hair is long short hair on a poet would be a crime Okay, so it's the poet? Whatever. the swiftness thing. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, sweep the detector around the room. Listen to the detector sound. Flush out the hidden mechanical bugs. Press A to capture the bugs. Okay. You can't hide from me. Oh, oh. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You can't hide from me. Uh -huh. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Mm. All right, fair enough. These are pieces of exploded gas container. There are burn marks all around it floating well above the floor. This is a thick, roasted gas. Yeah, I do see that. Um, burn marks. Okay.
Here we go. Adios, muchacho. That's weird because the uh, director is the one who had the burn marks that he was treated for, right? Uh, I don't have the trap protector. Okay. Who is the guilty party? Tokens. All right. Let me use that token card. Oh, no, it just gave it to me, sweet. Have just called you to me. What's the word? All right, tell me what's up. There's a lot more to this story, but I can't just tell you outright. Let's give you the money. Got him. Man, she really didn't want that money. Have I got a scoop for you? That director is famous for making his own cheap special effects with fireworks. Of course he burned himself. I was in the sick bay watching the nurse treat him when we heard the explosion. Oh, so he wasn't part of the explosion? How did he burn himself then? Here we go. Let me just call this guy. I'm enjoying myself ever so much. Here goes nothing. Seems to be the trouble. I really shouldn't say anything unless you give me a good reason. I hate this eye contact game. Damn it! Get out of the way! Oh my god! Come on! Ah! There we go. Jeez, that sucked. Let me give you a full report. I did, in fact, treat someone on board for minor burns. I can't tell you anything about him. Patient confidentiality, you know. When in doubt, review the clues. Excellent. You found all the clues. When you're ready, move to the culprit to accuse him or her. You need to rule out all of the innocent suspects to pin this on the culprit. All right. Problem is, is that they said nothing about...
Okay, two four vertically says foolish. Foolish henchman. Good thing your hair is short. Or it would have burned as well. Rip this note up. Okay. So the henchman has short hair. How would you know the gender? See, poet's ticket is handwritten on a candy wrapper. my head something important tell you something about that smell ah okay the uh, the reason he wasn't dizzy was because he was short so it said the poet and I went to the room the I thought it was the poet but uh, he was, the uh, smoke didn't get anybody because they were too short. Uh-oh. This game's starting to get good. Sorry, hold on. Kind of, wa I was watching a soccer game uh, between the Atlanta United and the Minnesota United. And, um, see what happened was, was that the, uh, they started hitting each other pretty viciously, so I had to stop watching because I don't watch soccer to see, see, uh, the guys kick each other's butts. Kind of irritates me. Like it's all tied up. Okay. Anyway. So he's too short. It says narrow space between some pipes. What's that all about? Take his hidden in the narrow space between some pipes. When you open the valve, gas hisses and smells like roses. So then the person has to be skinny because you couldn't get into the narrow space. That's weird. Um, so how do you figure out gender? It says everyone here is dizzy or burned. All right. Let's go for it. Everybody's dizzy or burned. Two people were not dizzy, so they had to be burned. Let's call out the... Uh... Is that the poet? See on the front page. Of course I'm out of tokens. <laughs> I'm ready. You can't expect me to keep talking all night. Accusing a poet. You're crazy and you know it. Oh move lord. It. select the evidence. So 
if there was a loud explosion. Got short hair. Now I'm confused. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it.
the map. fuck? Make it wrong. Not funny. That sucked, man. I'm an innocent man. Unless you think my poetry is a crime. Do you? <coughs> Here's an interesting fact. I mean, how? Whatever. I got stuck. Let me accuse the doctor. That was horrible. I thought I had that one. You look uh, unwell. Maybe I should write you a prescription. You're going to need some impressive evidence to prove it. Let's do this shit again. No, the guilty party isn't her. <gasps> I mean, this is a formality. We know it's him. Oh, wow. That was... But why would it say that, uh... Why did the one say to be a poet with long hair? I don't know. I mean, I think I'm pretty smart, but <laughs> this game makes me feel like an idiot. isn't him. <gasps> I'm horrible at this game. Shut down your love gas plot, Dr. Harvest. Or should we call you Valentine? Valentine? I'm afraid you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm good, but I'm not that good. I was a young internist when I first met Mr. Valentine. He, well, let's just say he wanted to advance the cause of medical science. Mr. Valentine's donations have advanced the cause of medicine for years. To say nothing of my own career. So when he told me he needed some experimental gases for a Zeppelin, I didn't ask questions. I just got a bunch from the lab. What kind of doctor are you exactly? I don't believe in labels. That's why I quit med school. Oh boy. Mom, what are you doing here? It's not safe. You can say that again. Mm, that's them falling? Looks like someone forgot to turn off the gas. Grandma, how did you and Hugh escape? I cut us free... with this. I found it in the hangar. Get us back to Dickens Manor, Hugh. We've got a dinner date with Mr. Valentine. Is it my dad?